Hey traders. Okay, so this is for February 13, a market recap. Recap. I am Marina, the trader chick Villa Toro. So right here is when the market opened up for me. It's 8:30 Central Time, and it's obvious that the market is going up. It's kind of grindy here. The session before, it was, you know, it wasn't great, but it was moving upward. So this is what I'm looking at right now. I go to check to see if there's any news. We had no news on Monday. So now I am here when the market opens up. Right, so this is what I am seeing when the market opens up. I have no news that is coming. It is a very obvious move up. When I'm already this much into the trend, I'm not crazy about it because there are very, very high chances that it could retrace Further, and that is exactly what happened here. Okay, so it totally retraced deeper. So this is now giving me a really good entry ideas for my failure trade, which means that obviously it did not continue down and it is going back up. And look at that, it definitely is going back up, going back up. And right there, bam, this was my first entry of the day. And I call this a failure trade, right? So what happens here? This is where it was right there. This was my first entry. So I entered around 75. I am looking for my first exit around right here. For the moment, it's just kind of hanging out. I'm already getting a little bit concerned because it's not really doing what it should, right? So at this point, I'm actually considering just getting out after three ticks but i see this long bar so i kind of hold off and bam i was profited out right here so i got my four ticks my four ticks which is a point it's fifty dollars per contract i'm in three contracts and it continued further and that's good right so right now i'm already looking and it looks like this is a serious double top forming right here and a lot of divergence and there is quite a strong move down when you are so high up in a trend it doesn't really hold that much consistently it can retrace deeper like it did right here right when you are just day trading and small risks this would have totally stopped me out right so this is when i just kind of sit out and wait to see what happens this is another now another failure to continue down i'm looking to see if this is going to break right because at this point this is now a resistance area and actually the resistance area for me is already here okay so what happens total resistance area at this point i'm just sitting out I don't enjoy any resistance areas at all. They are really difficult to, to trade. So at this point, bam, this is exactly what I am looking for, a nice solid breakout. And this is where I entered next. First, let me put this here. I entered around here. This is what I call a 233 breakout trade. Actually, that's not true. I entered here because the 233 was too close to my 610. This is where I entered for my breakout trade. And now I have it at here. My profit is right there. And my pro my target, I'm sorry, my risk is right there. And bam, I just got hit and I got another point. And you know what? At this point, it's almost lunchtime. It still did not do a strong move up, right? It did not do a strong move up. And it's back into this resistance area. And I am just not bothered with it anymore. And now it's 11 a.m. my time. That means it is noon on Wall Street. I'm good for the day. So I had two points if I was just uh, trading with one contract, but because I was trading with three contracts, I had six points. I'm good for the day. If you have any questions, please let me know. You could press like on this page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and have a great trading day.